Guys, MC Procrastinator here for another two minute video as part of the two minute series. So, I've been doing some research about textiles versus leather. Now, some of you may be aware or not aware that um, I unfortunately had a motorcycle crash three, four months ago and it was a Ducati 899. Obviously, my gear got damaged. And I skip forward a little bit and I think about my gear. Honestly, I need to replace it anyway. I bought it second hand when I first got it because I didn't really know if it's going to stay in the bike field never really got around to changing it and you know it wasn't waterproof which is a huge part I use this bike most days to commute unfortunately when it's chucking down with rain I don't bother taking it now because I get absolutely soaked through in fact the other day I was out riding the bike and chucked it down so heavy I got soaked fortunately I'd had the hindsight to take with me spare clothes unfortunately they got soaked so the time has come now for me I've made a decision I am definitely gonna buy new gear and then of course one has to ask ourselves well what's what's the best gear to buy you know for at least perhaps my situation or in general is it textiles or is it leather so let me put this in context first off I was looking at textiles I was looking at dry rider RST Alpine stars and uh, one ton which uh, I think it's a New Zealand brand it might be bought somewhere else and then rebrand it into, uh, in New Zealand and they're all reasonably okay and then I couldn't find the tops to go with the bottoms nothing seemed to fit me I went to Red Barn um, in Red Barn Motorcycles in Orha fantastic place check it out if you haven't been there obviously if you live in New Zealand and the girl was really helpful anyway I looked to the left hand side and thought wow leather I have really thought about leather let's go up there try it on wow it's just such a nice fit and it reminds me when I used to have my leathers back in the UK how nice it is to ride a bike with leather because you don't get the same kind of wind shaking or wind shear from when you're using the bike right it's such a different feel it feels tighter it feels you feel more snug safer anyway so I said to the girl oh well, maybe I should get leather and she says what do you use the bike mostly for and I said well commute and she says mm. No, it's not going to work. Rain. I said, well, you don't get these waterproof. No, that's really unfortunate. So I moved forward. I think, well, I really like to be able to make this work because I got in my mind, I'd like to be able to do a track day. And with the track day, you need to be able with leathers. Oh, right. Then I had a bit of a brainstorm. Well, maybe I could buy a onesie suit. And of course, that comes with its problems itself. However, I really think after a bit, some of the reading that I've done, that whilst textiles are certainly good, leather does um, offer more protection. It's got a better longevity around it as well and it does look and feel better so my question is to you guys who commutes that potentially could get stuck in rain that wears leather swears by leather and would only buy leather what are your reasons for that and how happy have you been and what do you do to mitigate against that whole rain thing and for those of you that will swear by textiles why would you go for textiles can you give me the good point Hey MC Procrastinator, you've definitely got to go and get textiles because of this. Or hey MC Procrastinator, go and don't get leather because of this. It would really, really help because I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to commit to one or the other. So I'm not going to buy both, just letting you know. And there's no point of having a cheap pair of one another. If I'm going to get something, I'm going to do it right. So for now, if you can comment, give me a bit of feedback on what you would suggest. Much appreciated. MC Procrastinator, right.